Well, I think that one of the really bright spots that we've had when we talk about COVID coverage has been the fact that Duke and UNC had a study that went over 11 school districts all across the state, varying sizes, varying complexities, and that during that time, the nine-week period, they had 90,000 students and staff that were being looked at, and we only had 773 cases and 32 more that were found outside of school of any type of COVID transmission. And even more startling, I think, in that study that Dr. Benjamin found was that none of these cases of transmission were from children to adults. And so what it tended to show is that you really do have an opportunity to run schools and to have students back in school if it's done safely. Of course, doing all the same things that we've done to protect, washing hands, making sure that we've got a chance to wear our mask and things of that sort and keeping six, six feet apart. And so what that's done, I think, is fundamentally changed the discussion about how we're going forward now, even in light of the vaccine, with schools and with students. And I think a great thing that was done early on with this with Governor Cooper is to allow the flexibility of each of the different school districts to decide how they want to reopen. And so now that they've got this information, I think it even puts us in a better position.